Well, we started with the back-to-front draft, so pretty much that means we have to do the front-to-back draft just to see how it goes. So, um, if that doesn't really explain what the draft is, basically, I have to draft all 12 forwards first, and then I have to drill, uh, dr drill, I have to drill, yep, sick. Okay, let's rewind a second there. I have to draft 12 forwards first, and then I have to take the six defensemen, and then the two goalies. So basically, our two goalies are going to be the worst players on the team. That is not good, but who knows, maybe it'll work. And as we do, let's randomize the teams here. I'm going to try and get a new team once again. If we get the same team, I'm going to be pretty upset. Well, a team we've used recently, boom! Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't think we've used the Flyers anytime soon. Maybe I'm insane, but I think this is sort of new. So yeah, we'll go with them. A little Broad Street Bullies action never hurt anybody, except for the players on the ice that they did in fact hurt. Which draft position are we going to get? 12. Yep, no, it is 10. I was kind of close, actually. All right, I'm fine with that. 10's, 10's not bad. We should get a very, very solid forward for that. And then, yeah, ooh, I think I have to do it. That's my boy. I can't say no. He's going to put up at least 80 goals, so I think it's like a shoe-in. Yeah, OV, let's go. The sad part is, though, that our next pick is so far apart, but I guess after this one, though, it'll be pretty close together again. So should I take Malkin and have the Russian boys team up? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. 9.5 is a lot, but there's not really many cheaper options at that overall. Well, he's literally... It's him and Yossi, and I can't take Yossi, so... Yeah, let's go with Malkin, and then I'm going to hope that... Will Nylander is still there, and he can be the right winger, but he's probably going to be gone. Yeah, mm, he might still be. He was 87, right? I think he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. I'm going to take JT Miller. I feel like I don't don't really take him ever, actually, which is kind of surprising. He's 87 overall and 5.2. That's really good. I was debating between him and Zabinijad, but yeah, I think I'm going to go with JT Miller, and that will basically do it for our first line. I guess maybe we might have someone else on the first line right wing, it all depends. But speaking of right wingers, I am going to take Bjorkstrand because I do not like that contract for Blake Wheeler. Ooh, Andrew Kopp. 86 overall, 3.6 million. Yes, please, sign him up. Okay, we actually got some decent contracts here. I could also see Kadri down there, Perron as well on some decent deals. I doubt they're still going to be here, but I guess you never really know. Perron is in fact still here. So because of that, I'm going to take Tom Wilson. He showed up on my screen. Don't have much of a choice. Timothy Jimothy. He was probably there last time too, actually, but whatever. Chandler Stephenson. This guy, I'm actually really sad the Caps got rid of this guy. He's doing insane right now. He's on a really good deal. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab him. I feel like we're getting quite a few players here that aren't drafted like super often, which is nice. So I'm very down with how this is going so far. Back to forwards. What do we got here? I want to try and find some good deals so we can maybe pick up some higher end defensemen. But I'm not taking Killer because he is, you know, rent-free in my head. So I'm going to try to avoid him by all means necessary. And I'm going to take Kapanen. He's on a pretty good deal. And he's 83 overall. So yeah, that's not bad at all. Marcus Foligno, 3.1. That's also a good deal. We still have $31 million left. And we are almost done with the forwards. So we should have some room for defensemen and goalies as well. I'm very curious to see what goalies are going to be left when we actually get to that, though. It's going to be interesting. I do need a centerman. I guess it's not like super important that they are an actual centerman, but I would like it to be. I'm going to take Athenasiu. Screw it. We don't need centers. They're overrated. Okay, we still actually need one more forward. For some reason, I thought we were done with forwards, but no, it seems like we need another one. So, uh, let's go with Getzlav. I guess he could be like a fourth line or third line center. He's up there in age, but $3 million and 83 overall doesn't seem too bad. Moment of truth. Who is still left for defensemen? We have Shattenkirk. And he is 83 overall. 3.9 million. Yeah, let's go ahead and draft Kevy, Getzlav's teammate. And then I saw another player that was on a decent contract there as well. Uh, Savard's on a pretty good one. So is Edler. Okay, well, let's take Savard. Yep, that's a decent defensive pickup. I really don't know. Like, is there a way you can possibly try to see what chemistry would look like from this screen? If you even get what I'm trying to say. Like, if you were looking at certain stats or tendencies or something, is there a way to possibly try to predict the chemistry of a line? Let's go with Hall. Two million bucks. And we only need... I've been flying through these defensemen. We need two more. And then we need our two goalies. And we got 10 milli left. So we do kind of need to be 
a little bit smart here with our money because I don't want to go over the cap. As you guys know, I really don't like doing that because it adds an extra challenge. So yeah, that's, that's my current objective to not go over the cap. And I think we are going to be able to do it. Uh, one point. Mm, one point. Yeah, let's just go with, I've never even seen this guy. So that's going to be a new player as well. I think. What do you guys think? What's the highest overall goalie? I'm going to say like 82. Boom. Here we go. Oh, 83. Oh, that's pretty close. Dobby. Okay, that's actually not bad. And 3.35, yeah, all right, there we go. If Talbot is still there as well, then I think we actually have some decent goalies. All right, Tendies. Nah, he's gone. All right, we can take Halak, Dell, Tal. Oh, wait, no, Talbot is still there. But we also have Grice. Ooh, this is tough. Okay, let's go with Cam Talbot. I could take Halak. He's the same overall, but I'm just going to go with the, the youngest guy. It's a count up, 34, 35, 36. But let's go with Cameron. And that's our team. I think we might actually have a chance here. This team seems pretty good. All right, let's see what's going on here. I don't even want to mess with the lines again because whenever I do, they suck. And then I do head coach preferred lines. It's like minus three, minus two, minus one, minus eight, and somehow they do better. 78 face-offs actually isn't bad. So Chandler can play there. Guess he's got 85. Guy's unreal. What does Malkin even have? He only has 75. All right, well, anyway, that's a pretty sick first line. Uh, second line is solid. So, yeah, the whole offense is just dirty. Let's be real. I haven't looked at the defense yet. Oh, okay. That's that's not bad. But with two simple moves, boom, boom, I could have plus three and plus one. So you better believe I'm going to do that. And, oh, another move. I could have 302. I might just do that then. That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, or I could get 320. Screw the final pair. You know what I'm saying? All right, yeah, let's do that. And then, okay, that's pretty good. I'll take all the zeros on offense here that's fine unless i could maybe make a simple move but that's ah, all right and then in net we have hudobin and talbot so yeah our team is pretty solid i think we're actually gonna have a chance at the stanley cup here i could be miserably wrong but i'm gonna take a guess here and say we get honestly 49 wins i think this team's gonna be really good i'm probably so wrong and that's gonna come back to slap me in the mouth but that's okay um it's just a guess so yeah uh, how many points will Ovi get? I'm going to say Ovi gets the most, obviously, but I'm going to say he gets 51 goals and 90 points. Let's see. Wait, did I say 51 points and 90 goals? Because if so, I meant 51 goals, 90 points. Unless I'm just, I don't know. It, anyway, we're off to a blazing hot start here. So I, so far, I feel like I'm going to be correct. Keep in mind, we are within the cap too. So like, this could be a real team, technically. An 8-1 win over the caps. Oshi, Wilson, and Ovechkin coming back and just lighting the lamp. All right, at this two-week break here, we are 34-13-2, so we are absolutely doing well. 49 wins definitely does not seem out of the question, and I should probably shut my mouth because we are losing a lot of games right now. Keep the current trading block. Enter trade deadline. Who is available? Let's see. Patrice. We got Johnny Goods. Giroux. Perron. All right. Darcy Kemper, Pavelski, Strom, Sonk, Suter, and Brodeen. So there's a few good players on here for sure. I don't really know. I guess we could technically make a trade if we really wanted to, but I don't really see a point. So on that note, no, not going to make a trade. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle and continue. So Dallas receives a first this year, a second next year, and Sordif, Sourdif, could be either or, in exchange for Patrice Bergeron and a third. And is that it? Looks like it. I don't understand this game, man. Like, why are we just losing every game all of a sudden? It's so obscene. It literally makes no sense. Well, we're at 46 wins, so we need to win three of our last four. And that's a good start. Are we going to get 50 wins? We got 50. All right, we won all four of our last games going into lofts. And that will give us the big 5-0. So I was really close, actually. 50, 27, and 5. And let's have a look here. So, oh, Malkin had the most with 89. That's lame. Okay, well... We finished first in the Metro with 105, and we won the... We are... Okay, yeah, I was like tripping for a second. I'm like, are we Philly? Like, am I missing something here? But no, we also won the President, so that is sick. Let's look at the individual player stats. So, Ovi had 42 tucks and 42 assists for 84 points. And then Malkin had 64 apples, 25 Genos for 89 points. So, he did good. Oshi was 71. Chandler Stephenson with 62. What a legend. Shattenkirk, 62. Let's go, Shaddy. JT Miller, 59. Bjorkstrand, 54. All right, so we just, we did well all around. 
Hall had the least amount with 10, but whatever. He's still a plus 7, so he did something right. In net, a 910, 259. That's actually not bad. And then a 909, 265. Yeah, they both did all right. In the entire league, Jeremy Swayman led the league at 83 overall with 41 Ws. And he had a 918, 246. That's really good. And then Rask had a 925, 234. So he simulated really well. And so did Igor. He had a very good year. All right, let's go to the skaters. Actually, I'll go to forwards and I'll go to defense just to highlight them differently. So Pasta, assuming... <laughs> No defense got more than 105 points, which I really doubt. He won the Art Ross. McDubstep with 100. Dry with 99. Uh, Kane, 95. Crosby, 90. Oh, no! That's the guy I wanted to get. And he did really well. I guess maybe he might not have done so well on our team. It really depends. But, yeah. There you go. There's the forwards. Defense. We've got Adam Fox with 74. McCarr with 73. Hughes, 72. Yeah, these guys are sick. All right. Hedman, 69. He was... Drafted one pick before us in the first round, I think. And Shaddy's up there as well. All right, here we go. Time for the playoffs and time for a first round exit. Let's let's get it done here. There it is. Oh, kind of coming back. Yeah, 9-2 loss. Love it. Saw that coming from a mile away. The Flow Rider Panthers are the Stanley Cup champions. Ovi put up eight points in six playoff games. Let's have a look at the awards. Is it that time already? Oh, yeah, but I guess we kind of wanted to see who Florida had on their team. So let's look at the stats here and find Florida. Where are you? There you are. All right, so they had Staven and Braden Point. Okay, nice. They had Olafson, Hyman, Gerard, Fiala, Yamamoto. They have a... I don't know. They're even a pretty good team, but it's like nothing wild, I feel like. Who'd they have in net? Oh, okay. Well, I guess Stamkos, Point, Price... Uh, Olafson, yeah, they okay, they did have a good team. I take it back. Let's have a peek at the awards. Stanley Cup goes to Florida, presidents to us, Chicago with the Campbell, and Prince of Wales goes to Florida. Let's check out the individuals. Pasta with the Art Ross. The Hart goes to McDubstep, Adam Fox with the Norris, Pasta with the Lady Bing, Caulfield gets the Calder, Stamkos with the Con Smythe, Gibson with the Vesna, Shesterkin with the Jennings, the Masterton goes to Vlasic. Mason gets the Jack Adams, Kopitar with the Selkie, McDubstep with the Ted Lindsay, and the Marisa Rocket Richard goes to Patty Kane. All right, let's have a look at the playoff tree, and here we go. That's how it went down. So Ottawa ended up getting rinsed by the Jerks in round number two. I guess it wasn't really a rinsing. It did take seven games, so yeah, I take that back. But wow, Florida didn't even go to a game seven once. Like, I guess, yeah, I guess they were good. I don't know. Their roster was pretty solid. All right, guys. Well, if you have other ideas for drafts, go ahead, leave it down below. This one turned out quite well. We did win the presidents. We had some players do very, very well. And it was some new players as well, which is nice. You know, not people that we pick up all the time. There was a few, obviously, in there that we do pick up most of the time. But there was some new faces as well, which was nice. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.